Guys, only of your first wives, uh, they did not see this coming. They thought it was business as usual. They never know that KBAC is prepared, highly prepared for them. Because I believe that the reason why they have been this uh, wide and uh, doing things according to how they want it is because uh, maybe if KBAC said this thing is going to be like this, he will not implement it. You know that when you give an order and you ensure that that order is, uh, is kept, you know that things will be moving well. You know that when KBSC was telling them that uh, uh, there will be restrictions, they thought it is going to be business as usual. Uh, you know? So, now they said, the kind of woto woto, the kind of insult and the disgrace that the security guards give to them, they never imagined it. As in, they did not see it coming. Because I believe that if they see it coming, they wouldn't have come and insult themselves in that manner. Anyway, guys, before we proceed, yeah, welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video. We are still on the gist from the Palace of Uni of Ife. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video. Always remember that these are all alleged information, okay? So, according to the information, you know that right uh, before now, that should be around last week, we heard that KBAC have uh, told the wife that they are going to leave the palace and... Their movement in the palace must be restricted. As a matter of fact, anytime they come to the palace, the only place that they are allowed to stay happens to be that um, either the conference hall or the traditional open center where he normally uh, 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 hold programs for his people. You know, these are the only two places that they can stay or maybe be in, his, in, in the waiting room where they wait to see him. These are the only three places that they are restricted to stay anytime they enter the palace. I believe that the reason why KBSC is doing all of this is such that if Kwinami returns back to the palace, there won't be problems. Because while Kwinami was in the palace before, these people, uh, 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 then, then the only reason they were coming as guests, even though they know that they know their plans. Kwinami sees them as guests. Then KBSC sisters, Iala, them, all of them, when they enter the palace, they, they have the right to move to every corner of the palace, thereby monitoring every movement and all of that. And they have opportunity to gossip with Naomi and all of that. This time, KBSC said that, you see those things, he's no longer going to allow them. And for that reason, for that reason, if they must visit the palace, the, these three areas are the only place that they can be. And don't forget that these three places that there are CCTV cameras there. So anything they plan there or they, they stay together there to plan against Kwinomi must be seen in the camera. I believe that's the main reason, you know. So when KBSC gave them this order through Dr. Elizabeth, because Dr. Elizabeth is the schedule manager and all of that, they thought it was just, she was just joking. She never knew that uh, uh, KBSC meant every bit of what he said to them. So... Now they said, uh, Auntie Blue Blue and the uh, EB, they came to the palace. I don't know what their mission is. They said, when they came, they thought it was business as usual. They started going to areas where they are told not to go. Then when the security guards saw them, they said the way they embarrassed them, telling them that, no, 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 you are not allowed to be staying here. You should go to a social place or leave the palace at once. They said the way that these people talk to them, you will know that, uh, KBSC have given them full authority to talk to them in that manner. Because one thing I know is that they said the security guard, the palace staff, everyone, that the same level of respect that they give to KBSC is the same way they respect these women. They respect them a whole lot. You know? But when these women now decided to disrespect KBSC, or because they believe that KBSC will not do anything to them, and I believe that is why KBSC have decided to give the security guards the right and authority to uh, embarrass these people anytime they misbehave by going against his decision. So they said these two came and they thought it was business as usual. And I never know that the restriction have started being in effect. You know, it, the, it has started. They were saying, no, they thought it was from July. You know that uh, from what we heard, they said they are still doing their royal duties and everything. Everything is still okay until July. That by that July, when Nomi will come back to the palace and take over. And they said that the guys told them that that is not what they were told. That from that day that that bill was passed to them, that uh, notification 
was sent to them that they have been restricted from some uh, moving to some part of the place, uh, the palace. Yeah, that was when Kabiesi told them that if any of these women, or if, if any of these Oloris, or even the sisters to the king, because we heard that that restriction is not only for the Oloris, that the sisters are also involved. And the sisters are involved because <laughs> their story no good, though. They are totally no good, though. Uh -huh. Because with the kind of things we are hearing about them, how they are fighting Quenami because of uh, the fact that Quenami has decided to take over some uh, management and the planning in the palace. As a wife, that is her duty. Yes, but because of what they will gain, because of what they used to gain, you know, they start, uh, They decided to be fighting Queen Naomi. Why would she do it? Small girl, this and that. So in their own husband houses, it is another person that is coming to take up responsibilities there. There's some people, sometimes they are, I would just be wondering, why would these people be thinking that Queen Naomi is just a girl and she doesn't know her right? She knows that it is her right to say, okay, my husband, you want to do this and I will take, I will take care of it. They want to be taking care of everything for Queen Naomi. For what? Without her demanding for it. And when she said no, it becomes a problem. So that is why they are also uh, involved in that restriction. Yes, and everybody is running her task. We heard the other day that they ran to their father, Paropa, uh, begging uh, Paropa to speak to Kabiesi that things are getting out of hand. That right now it is Queen Naomi and the Dr. Elizabeth decision that is uh, over uh, overruling their own. Because this, they said the reason for that particular report was because of the security guard. When KBSC uh, fired all the security guard and uh, sent them to the cocoa farm to be working there, he decided to employ new ones. And the sister thought it was business as usual. They went and employed some people. And unfortunately for them, they said Dr. Elizabeth and Queen Naomi, even KBSC rejected those ones. And all the number, they said the number that was employed was like up to 20 or so. It, uh, they all came from Queen Naomi and their Dr. Elizabeth. And the sisters are saying, why? Why would? How is that their business? Eh? How is it their business? I'm sure they are not. See, let, let, I, don't, I don't want to believe what my mind is telling me now. You know that before now, a lot of people see Kabiesi as a king that cannot keep a wife. And they, what, the sisters are happy helping, uh, helping him to run some of the things that the wives are supposed to be doing. And when Urola left Kabiesi, there was this rumor that the sisters are the reason behind that. Uh, uh, even be the lady before Urola, the same thing. Now, Queen Naomi again. Let it not be that there is something they know that we don't know. Anyway, at the end of the day, I believe that Queen Naomi have uh, learned her lesson. She have known that uh, these people are against me and I, I don't have to give them chances to come into my marriage the second time. Anyway, guys, they said the way they were dis dis disgraced out of the place that they went to, that is... Uh, where they are not supposed to go, they were crying. They were as disappointed. Uh, uh, on the other hand, that is what they deserve for disobeying KBSC's decision. Thanks for watching. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Tell me what you think about it on the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're here to subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Bye. I love you guys.